Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I just want to do a quick product review for you on the Decimator MDHX. Let me explain my situation and why I like to use it. Uh, so I use primarily Blackmagic products along with Apple Mac products. So years ago, uh, you could plug a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini directly into a Blackmagic ATEM switcher via the USB port and it would show up on the switcher as an input source. No problems, uh, you could configure the Mac to the right resolution and the switcher would see it. They've made some changes, the newer MacBook Pros and the newer and maybe even all of the Blackmagic ATEM switchers now will not directly see the signal. Um, so there is no configuration, I've tried third party software, I've tried all sorts of things, it's always a headache if I need to get my MacBook Pro source into a Blackmagic ATEM switcher. So, I have tested quite extensively in the Decimator MDHX um, in between the MacBook Pro and the Blackmagic ATEM. Solves it every time. It converts the signal from the MacBook into what the ATEM is looking for and just makes it work flawlessly. So, just wanted to pass on this information through all my troubleshooting, thought it might be helpful. And if you're looking for the Decimator, there's a link uh, below this video. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.